Hi everyone, do you guys like tomato ketchup? If you love ketchup, why don't you try making your own? It's going to be much healthier than the market. And you can even make it in larger quantities and can keep it in the freezer for longer use. Tomatoes contain lycopene, which give it the red color. Lycopene reduces the risk of cancer and heart disease. So let's start our dual tomato ketchup and chili garlic sauce in one video. Actually, we're, we're going to make the ketchup first and then the chili garlic sauce. I've taken five kilograms of tomatoes and I've washed them and I'm making some cut marks on the skin, then I'm going to boil them and then let them cool, so the skin will be removed easily. But I can't wait to cool, as it's still very hot. Now I'm going to use a hand blender to blend them. Now I will take a piece of muslin cloth and in it coarsely cut one medium sized onion, 6 to 8 cloves of garlic, 1 inch piece of ginger, cinnamon sticks, some peppercorn, 5 to 6 cloves and green cardamoms and I'm going to tie it up and I'm going to put it in the pot. I'm also going to add 250 grams of sugar or jaggery. I'm using jaggery because of its health benefits. And I'm also going to add one and a half cup of apple cider vinegar. Don't forget to add one teaspoon of chili powder and two teaspoons of salt. Let it cook on a medium slow flame and stir it occasionally. Now I will remove it from the fire and let it cool for a bit and then I'll blend it into a fine paste. After blending, I'm gonna strain it through a sieve to remove the seeds. Be sure to remove the muslin cloth and discard it along with the seeds. And then continue to cook it until it thickens up to a des desired consistency. Take a cold, cold spoon and insert it into the pot, like you see I am doing it. There is some coating of the ketchup on the spoon, then it is done. I think it needs some more cooking of around 20 minutes. Now the tomato ketchup is ready, and we're going to remove half of the content to another pot. But the remaining half, we're going to make the chili garlic sauce. For chili garlic sauce, I've taken a quarter of a cup of dried button chilies, and a few longer chilies and green chilies. I have already soaked the dried chilies in water, and then in the same water I will grind them to a paste. I'm going to add that into the pot. I'll also add a quarter of a cup of jaggery or sugar and a quarter cup of vinegar and I'll cook it on a slow flame.
Take in a quarter cup of oil and in it I'm frying two tablespoons of crushed garlic. As it has already started turning golden brown, I'm gonna add it to the pot and I'll cook it further to make it more thicker than the ketchup. Now when it's done, I'm gonna let it cool. When it comes to room temperature, I'm gonna add it to clean, sterilized and dried bottles and keep it in my fridge or my freezer. I usually keep it in the freezer as I have not used any preservatives or additives. So keeping it in the freezer increases its shelf life. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next recipe. Bye bye.